rather than, uh, than, than focus on the negative, I, you know, I, I'll say, as, as I said to our guys, you know, I'm just awful proud of the effort that they put on the field. I mean, we've been really trying hard this year to get our guys to compete and play harder through the course of the game. Uh, and after the Virginia game was over, we were losing 12 to 4 to them. Just felt that we just uh, weren't progressing as a team. We didn't leave it on the field. You know, it wasn't so much the result, it was the way we competed and played. And I just felt like tonight, uh, after 60 minutes of lacrosse, we could walk off their field with our heads held high, knowing that we competed as hard as we could um, for each other. And it was just unfortunate that we didn't come off on the uh, on the wet end of the scoreboard. You know, played Syracuse. They made the plays when it was necessary. Uh, they make a play at the end of the game like they uh, they, they, they seem to, to have a knack for. And uh, it was just unfortunate that, that our guys who competed and played so hard through that game uh, couldn't taste that victory tonight. Jeff, you, when you look at the stats here, uh, I think it goes to show what a hot goaltender can do to keep a team. You talk about being you know a minute away from winning that game. 20 saves and quality saves, kick saves, leg saves, yeah. all kinds of saves. It's about a, as good a performance as we've had uh, from our goalies since you know I look back at Matt McMonagall's play as a goalie through his career here, and uh, he was about as good as I've ever had the opportunity to coach. I and mean, just watching AJ today, you know, we told him he was going to start on. On, uh, on Sunday, and uh, through Sunday night's practice and Monday, he just had a look on his face of just, just calm and poise and, uh, and confidence. And just walking on the field today, just seeing him smiling in pregame, gave me a pretty good sense that, that here's a freshman goalie that's growing up pretty quickly, and, and that has a chance to arrive. And uh, I think he understands he's got a lot of work to do and a lot of the ball stuff to play, but we felt extremely comfortable. Even though with Syracuse, with his demeanor coming into today's game, the way he was prepared mentally and physically, and uh, you know, we felt good about what we were do, doing defensively. And, and when we gave up the shots that we felt like we, should, we needed to or wanted to, he was there. And then we gave up a couple that, gosh, we, we would never have wanted to give up. And he seemed to be, uh, you know, cute in on those shots as well. We just never seemed to get enough going in the offense, and then unfortunately. Uh, to really feel good about what we were doing down at that end of the field. Agent, did you see Chris's shot, Dan- Danielle's shot? Because there was a scramble situation, Danielle, or it looked like Jameson was on the ground. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, J- yeah, Jameson came in, took the shot low, and it kind of popped out as a rebound, and I was kind of going for that. Um, and then, yeah, I just squirted it out. Um, by the time he picked it up and shot it, I was trying to get ready. That way, I guess. You know, this time last year, you're probably just in the very early stages of your senior year in high school, and now you're playing the uh, you know defending national champions, and you're walking around smiling. You get a chance to uh, to face those guys. Tell me what that's all about. Um, the coach delivery came up to me before the game, and uh, you know, I, I realized that I haven't really played to my full potential this season. Um, and I don't know if it's just my nerves or whatnot, but Coach Luca came up to me and told me to play like I was out in bail. And told me to play, uh, play for George. And uh, put a smile on my face. You know, I, I, I took that. And uh, I think uh, probably for one of the first times, instead of going out being so serious, I, uh, I tried to go out uh, feeling more good. Um, you know, with a smile on my face, trying to get into it um, a little bit. Um, and yet the first shot goes whizzing by it. I mean, what if, you know, the first shot they take, are you, know, like, not saying at that point, oh, so yeah. much for the smile? <laughs> um, you know, I, you knew that they were going to come out firing. Um, that's kind of like how they, uh, what kind of team they are. Um, but, you know, you just got to put it behind you. Um, look for I mean, it was really early, early in the game, a couple minutes into the game. You can't really dwell on it that much, especially that early. Um, you try and just look forward and make the next game. Fuse, they won the first, I think, five face-offs, and yet midway through the second, it was three to two. What did you guys do as a defensive unit to hold them to two goals for that stretch? Um, just basically, you know, we, we tried to eliminate the transition as much as possible and, and force them to play six on six against us. Um, you know, we play, uh, you know, obviously it's a team defense, you know, basically our seven, we are goalie, you know, against their six. 
and you know we really uh, you know, we really relied on you know basically trying to get the you know let AJ see the shots that we wanted him to see, and you know he did a great job bailing us out numerous times, and um, and then I think you know just you know our short stakes and, and our poles were just you know did did a great job for the most part you know on the ball and, and helping each other out when we needed to, and uh, you know I think just that you know the communication that we had and. And you know, basically the, the physicality and, and the tempo, and you know, just basically the mentality that we had back at that end was, you know, was very on point, and um, and we really we, uh, we executed, you know, fairly well. Rob, this time last year, I mean, when you lost this game last year, that's it. You pack your bags and go home. There's tomorrow now for you guys. What do you, what do you take out of this? I mean, it's, it can't hurt as bad as, as last year in that regard. Yeah, I don't think compared to last year at all, but. And again, you know, losing is never easy, and um, you know, especially to Syracuse and you know, upstate rival. And you know, it would have been great to, to come out with the win tonight. But you just gotta take the positives out of it, and you know, look at what, what went wrong, and just build upon that. The next week and a half we have, and you just gotta look at the games we have going forward. Browns our next opponent, and gotta look what we can do to prepare for them and be ready for them. Um, and then just looking forward to the, the rest of the Ivy League season. You know, it's 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 a low-scoring game, but it's so much fun to watch you and and John Lee just go to war for that entire game. Is it fun for you to play against a kid that good? I'm sure it's fun for him, a challenge for him to play against you. Yeah, he's, he's a great defenseman. I covered him twice last year and, and again this year, and um, he's very good on ball and you know, doesn't throw too many checks, but very good position-wise, and it's definitely a, you know, a challenge for me. And, and I. I look forward to that, you know, coming into this game, you know, you know you're going to go up against an All-American um, like him, and, and uh, you know, we look forward to that because, you know, it's, it's fun, you know, going out there and competing, and that's what I love doing, and uh, doing what I can to help my team, and so yeah, it, is, it is fun going against him, and, and he, you know, we talked after the game just because we, you know, played in the past, and, you know, we just respect each other.